Breaking the Wall of Antibiotic Resistant Pseudomonas aeruginosa. Hovakim Grabsky, Russian Armenian University, Yerevan. Hello, everyone. Following World War II, when antibiotics became industrially produced, our quality of life and our longevity improved enormously, but no one at the time thought bacteria were going to become resistant. In 2017, the World Health Organization announced a list of the most dangerous superbugs, and among them is Pseudomonas aeruginosa, which is an antibiotic-resistant, opportunistic human pathogen. The central problem is that it affects patients suffering from AIDS, cancer, cystic fibrosis, burn victims, people with implants, prosthetics, etc. It should be also noted, though it is hard to believe, but the hospital is the place where a lot of people can get infected by this bacteria. A hallmark of this bacteria is its ability to establish biofilms-based infections that are difficult to eradicate. Think of biofilms as fortresses. Biofilms are less susceptible to immune responses. Biofilms increase antibiotic tolerance by a thousand times. Developing treatments against biofilms requires an understanding on how it is regulated. It has, so, how does the system work? It has been shown through experiments that the transcriptional activator protein, LAS-R, regulates biofilm formation and virulence gene expression, which includes antibiotic and multidrug resistance. This protein acts, acts like a switch, and is active, it is turned on by its native activator. So if we turn this protein off, we could solve the problem. But this approach for drug design has not worked in many cases. In our recent work, using a combination of structural bioinformatics and machine learning techniques, we show that there are two switches that are activated by the native activator. So, if we turn this target design drugs targeting these two switches, we could, solve, we could stop biofilm formation and virulence gene expression. This approach is both preventive and offensive. With this, we could help and save people. Thank you very much.